Explanation? It is answer D. One, coin faster. Two, coin faster. Three, paper flies out to the side. Four, both equally fast. Both the coin and the piece of paper are accelerated downward by Earth's gravity. In the process, they fly through the air and are slowed down by it through friction. Because of its small mass and, in comparison, large surface area, the piece of paper is slowed down more by air friction, so that the coin falls faster in configurations 1 and 2. In configuration 3, the coin lies on the paper. Initially, the coin and the paper fall at the same rate. The air friction creates small turbulences under the coin, which are sufficient to throw the piece of paper out to the side while the coin falls straight down. If the piece of paper lies on top of the coin, both fall at the same speed. The piece of paper flies in the slipstream of the coin, so it is not exposed to air friction and is not slowed down. This configuration comes closest to the one described by Galileo Galilei. An amazing phenomenon.